Hi, this is Justice with LearnBuildBox.com. I'm going to show you how to put that portal and that transparent background into BuildBox. Now, I have already dragged in a couple of these items uh, to save a little time in this tutorial. Um, as an object, I brought in the back wall and the outside wall. Uh, really important to do right away is click on this little pen icon, the edit icon, and make sure that you're centered. Uh, these images, like this one, when it's not made or saved in the center of the screen in Photoshop, it, it pulls in to the new place, or to the place basically where it sat on the screen inside of Photoshop over here, which means you may see nothing. So you want to make sure you drag that to about the center of the image. When you do that, that is going to change your collision shape placement as well. Now because I only moved it a little bit and only moved it a little bit, this can be redone by clicking this button right here. That'll move that a little closer. These are going to operate as decorations, so it's not terribly important where their collision shapes are, but as a habit, I would I would really suggest focusing on that. Now this this fog that we did on the inside, you want to make sure that that again is set up correctly here collision shapes in the right spots, those are fine. Alright, so this one I brought in as an action. Now it's very important that this is different because we have a start sound, we have uh, overlay or a lot of different functions attached to this that only appear in the action power-up options. Alright, so we're going to drop in our background and then we're going to next drop in our inner fog because we want these to layer naturally without having to do much extra stuff. And then right here. All right, so let's let's zoom in and see how that looks. All right, not too bad. All right, so if we take our character and we bring him through here, we're going to want the. I'm going to send this to the very back. I want to make sure that our fog is in front of the background layer, which it is now, but in between these other two, so we're going to bring this to the very front. Now our character should go into the fog, behind the fog, so that you can tell that he's moving from a dark space to a light space, which is why I like doing that. Uh, you're probably going to want to make this longer, so that when the character comes through this spot, it, there's more of an appearance of de depth. Alright, that said, uh, select your fog layer and we're going to make this action type next check checkpoint. Alright, now let's take this whole thing and move it someplace more interesting. So we're going to bring this down here. I'm going to go ahead and flip the direction. Same thing here. Now all of this, this direction change can be done by adjusting up here your rotation. And right here, same thing. Okay. Alright, so that's great. We have our character up here and we have our portal down here, kind of hidden away, but not exactly as exciting as I want. So we did that transparent background one. This is matching our tiles here. I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that in. Now, this one is the quarter resolution one that I used before. If we wanted to do this the simplest possible way, just select four for uh, scale. Hold on. Accidentally tap my background here. Uh, we're going to do for scale four and four. All right, now that should bring it back to exactly where it was. You know, remember we did one quarter of the resolution earlier. There we go. This makes this definitely a smaller file size, and it gives a little bit of a different look which you should be able to say it's a little fuzzier than these other bricks, which 
in my personal opinion, having them look a little different than the rest of the background is important so that people understand what the difference is. So that they're not looking underneath every twig or rock or, or uh, object on the screen for a secret, but they can actually identify them. I think it makes it a bit more fun, a little less um, annoying. All right, so we're going to change these two to enemies. All right, now this, as a uh, power-up, what you want to do to set this up correctly, when you bring this over, you want to bring over just one frame for the default animation. And you want to bring in the very first frame because it has the highest opacity. And then you want to bring in your animation and drag and drop it onto here. It should be set to power up to replace, not overlay, because you'll never see it, and uh, single play. Uh, another important thing that you want to keep in mind, if your duration is set to 1, it's only going to play the first second of the animation. So set that to roughly whatever it was that you set your animation to uh, earlier. Alright, and now we need a second checkpoint for our character to pop up at. Alright, so let's go ahead and give this a shot without doing too much extra work. Let's see if we can get it to function correctly. Alright, so we'll drop down here, we'll fire some bullets to kill these, and then that brings me into our portal. And now the reason this is not working is because I forgot to change these to decorations. So let's go back and change those to decorations. Alright, so let's send that to the back. Change him to a decoration. And let's change this one also to a decoration. And now let's bring our cover to the front and let's try this again. And we shoot. Shoot. And then we come up to our spot, and it shoots us through to our next checkpoint. Now, for some reason, the next checkpoint thing, I am and have not been able to get that to work correctly. If someone knows how to get that to work the way that we want it to work, uh, would you comment below and give me some tips and pointers? What I'm really wanting to do is bring my character up here to where this treasure chest is. Alright, so that's uh, how you get that set up with the portal and the animations and the disappearing background. Alright, thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you next time.